Yeah, guys, um, Tesla, Tesla stock update. Tesla stock update. We're going to look at the stock price chart. Tesla, it's the 14th November 2024, coming up to 1.38 p.m. UK time. And let's look at the Tesla chart, guys. Looking at the 30 minute chart. And this is the pre market, I believe. Pre market. Um, and you can see it's just right. So it's a 14th. So here is the 13th, and it's dropped. 14th is dropped in pre-market as you can see and overall when we squeeze the chart just going to show you that recent high it made post Trump winning the election it got up to 360 well about 367 let's say yeah, $367. Since then, obviously, it came down to 321 For 321 pushed up, pushed up to 338 and then it's coming back down again. But if we squeeze the chart, if we change the chart, put it on the say one hour chart. That's what it looks like, basically falling off a cliff. But let's put it on the one day chart, if that makes a difference. Let's put it on the four hour chart. You can see that on the four hour chart, that Tesla, that's how it's looking. That's the peak, 367. So it's kind of still super high, but Obviously, it can't push higher, struggling to push higher. This is on the one day chart. This is on the one day chart. It's heading back down to that range around about 240 range. And, you know, stocks don't always crash when there's a stock market crash. They're not always super high. Not to say there's a stock market crash right like around the corner <clears throat> probably in 2025 but it doesn't mean this particular stock tesla the price will be you know like a like a new high or whatever and then there's a crash it's um just all varies really from stock to stock let's change it on the one week chart and we can see we can see there struggling to go higher struggling to make like you know go beyond 415 where it was you know, back in 2021 since 2021 you can see what's been happening it's always uh, lower lower highs and this is a, an artificial spike based on the election and the only way they're keeping this up, really, is suppressing competition. You know, suppressing competition from China. That's the only way that they're keeping it up. You know, try to, to, to keep it beyond 200, you know, 240. But you can see it struggles even to do that. Because you can see here it came down to $100. And it goes back up but these are the peaks recent times 2023 260 sorry sorry 280 is the peak but you've got an average high there of about 240 240 there and about 180 between 180 and 240 so that's the range where it's heading back down think that's where it's heading can't push higher now you're not going to get any better news than 
Trump winning the election. That's what's pushed it up. But obviously that's, um, you know, that's part of the shoring up um, attempts. Because uh, you can see the overall direction from that high that it made over 400 you can see that it's it's heading down it's heading so that you know logically if you take it from here and you put a line i don't know if you can see that but logically if you take it from the spike and you see it's making lower highs that's where it's heading The range it's heading is, you know, around about 140, 140 to 200. But from that range, then when it goes, when it, when Tesla stock enters that range, back in that range, it's prone to being, it's prone to falling below 100 again, because that was a signal, that was a setting up when it went 100 there, that was um, an indicator of where it's heading back. So that's what I think about Tesla uh, stock price, uh, you know, where it's heading at the moment. 